But let's move on to what little baby had to press a rapper about his money. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Hello, I'm back with another reaction video. Today, I'm gonna to be reacting to seven rappers who checked other rappers, okay? This is from the same channel I've been reacting to and I've been reacting to uh, King Von's, NBA Young Boys, and Lil Dirk's Most Disrespectful Moments. So thank you for recommending me this today. I wonder who's on here to be honest. But anyways, guys, before we jump into this, make sure you jump over to my Instagram and follow me over there. A huge thank you for the love, the support. Make sure you follow me and message me and let me know a video you would like to see me react to, like somebody asked me to react to this, so make sure you jump over there and do that. Or you can put it in the comments as well. I just need to go through all my comments and, you know, go through them. There's a lot. There's a lot to go through, but just be patient. But yeah, seven rappers who checked other rappers, okay? But anyways, thank you for watching and I'm gonna jump straight into it. Damn, this is loud. Oh, hang on a sec, it's taking out my ears. These are times rappers check their ops. And first, we got to start with Dougie B and K Flock. Now, okay. they saw one of their ops at a concert and checked them. K Flock and Ron Suno have been beefing for the past few months after K Flock claimed to be the king of Bronx Drill. So Suno clapped back, claiming that he was the one who started the wave okay. and that K Flock was just copying his style. Who the king of the Bronx better show me more than 100 K or better, bro? And Ron Suno felt disrespected when K Flock called himself the king of Bronx Trio, since Suno has been rapping longer than K Flock. I don't hear with no man. Anybody that's doing anything respectfully, come on. I never said, I never said is not doing anything, but pay homage. If you had a formula from something, you had to say where you got it from. Come on, boy. Yeah, box okay. I'm a dance. I'm a square up like me. Tell me your home. What's my mother? The next I see is getting knocked out. What am I mother? Then not long after the dissing on social media, K Flock and Dougie B ended up bumping into Ron Suno at Rolling Loud in New York. And it was on site. Supposedly, Suno went up to them to try and talk it out. But after the disrespectful things he said online, K Flock and Dougie B weren't feeling it. And things got crazy. After the scuffle, Dougie B went on Instagram Live to give his side of the story. EFA, you all like, yo, what's up, though? Yo, you good, though? Yeah, yeah, we hit. What the f you talking about? You're putting out your hands, trying to dab it's all that. Ron Suno responded by posting a video uh -huh. claiming that K Flock and Dougie B didn't do anything. Okay. Why are you backing up? Why are you backing up? And thankfully, no one was harmed in this situation. But now, let's move on to Offset because he had to check a rapper for disrespecting his wife. Okay, because Offset. Back in 2018, Offset. Chicago rapper King Yella dropped a song named Cardi B Truth over the beat from Offset's Ric Flair drip and rap driving in the foreigns. And you know I love Mercedes. Big Cardi B want to have my baby. He continued by saying, Yella, don't play that offset, boy. You better watch your, watch your, boy. She on my. Uh -uh. Yella also put up an old picture of him and Cardi B together. Offset obviously wasn't cool with the situation. And the video came out of him threatening to put his hands on King Yella on FaceTime. Yo, everybody tomorrow is calling my own proposal. Don't get no about none of that. You said what? You said what? You said what? You said who? Well, I'm not worried about no about. That's when Cardi hopped in and posted a phone call with Yella where she told him. So keep my name out your dirty. Listen, <laughs> one thing about Cardi, she's gonna say something, okay? There's one thing about Cardi, she's gonna say something, okay? Posted a phone call with Yella where she told him. So keep my name out your dirty mouth, you dirty. Mm -mm. Like, you're going the most for crap. Get your bread up. The situation cooled off after that. And in 2022, King Yella did an interview with 16 Shot'em Visuals and addressed the whole thing. I had uh, saying like, you had a relationship with Cardi B and f like that. How that come about? <laughs> I'm with Cardi in like 2013. And tell him I ain't know who she was. She knew who I was. 
Hatfield. I didn't know who she was, though. When 16 shot him, asked him straight up if he had a history with him. Yellow finally squashed the rumors since he got pressed by Elsa. They just smashed Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> no man, you call me man. You know, I ain't know it wasn't me. What did he say? No man, you call me okay. man. You know, I ain't know it wasn't me. I just tagged off and said we've been having. So I never said anything, you know. And the video gets even crazier because Lil Baby ends up pressing a rapper about not having his money. But first, let's talk about Detroit rapper Skilla Baby. Because one day, Skilla was at the recording studio and spotted GMO Stax, one of his known knocks. And once Skilla spotted Stax, he started trying to press him. And that's when things started getting more serious. So the studio owner made them go outside so they wouldn't mess up anything in the studio. And no one... Mm -hmm. I don't blame him. I don't blame him telling him to go out so nothing you know my equipment you know I don't want none of my equipment to get you know but like there's just so much beef and so much people that just don't get along like I'm learning this lately like me reacting to these disrespectful moments and all these other like videos there's so much that I just don't but I don't know why, I don't even see as well, so yeah. Yes. So the studio owner made them go outside so they wouldn't mess up anything in the studio. And no one knows what happened outside. The GMO and his crew ended up snatching Skilla's chain and doing a lot more. Skilla was also outnumbered in the situation because a few days later, Stax went live on Instagram flexing with Skilla's chain. Hey, and Skilla ended up addressing the situation in an interview with Say Cheese. And he said, Looked like it was three or four guys approaching you in the studio. It looked like you were by yourself. I approached them. They know what happened. I know what happened. Everybody just said what they want about it. I approach them. I don't be thinking about, I know everybody think about jury and shit like that. I don't think about that shit when I get mad at that shit materialistic. They got off. It is what it is. Now let's move on to okay. when Lil TJ got pressed by a Toronto rapper named Top 5 for not checking in with him before he came to his city. Top 5 posted a video of him trying to press TJ on the street. Fight! 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 Them TJ's got you! Fight! Fight! Poof! Come to the corner, then. Stop doing it for the camera! Come to the corner! Come to the corner! Lil TJ obviously wasn't too worried about the situation and started dancing for the camera. TJ also right, started him? posting videos oh, yeah, of him see. going all over Toronto without any issue. I'm in Toronto calling like this. I'm getting them all for like another two hours. So pull up. And then he exposed Top 5 on social media. He posted screenshots of Top 5 sliding into someone's DMs, begging to open up for TJ at his show. Mm -mm, let me read them DMs. He posted screenshots of Top 5 sliding into some. Yo, bro, how much you... Mm-mm. 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 begging to open up for TJ at his show in Toronto. He even offered to send a couple of racks just to get put on. But TJ turned him down, and that's when the issue started. Okay. Luckily, nothing serious happened, but people didn't realize how deadly it could have been. Top 5 is facing a murder charge right now, and there's no telling what would have gone down if TJ had followed him around the corner. Lil Uzi Vert also had to press one of his ops in 2017. Okay, because Lil Uzi, Uzi was having major issues with his label. So he made a tweet about the problems. A couple hours later, Rich the Kid hopped on Twitter and told Uzi, that's why you should have signed Rich Forever. And Uzi took that as disrespect. So he quoted his tweet saying, boy, I'm not signing for 20 racks. Then a few days later, Rich went on the cruise show and turned things up. The host asked him if he'd signed Uzi. And Rich told him, not right now, due to personal reasons. Uzi took that as disrespect and responded to Rich in the weirdest way possible since he posted a picture of him holding a huge crab and tagged Rich the Kid as the crab. <laughs> then Rich ended up making the beef official when he dropped the song Dead Friends. In the song, Rich says, teach you how to be a boss. You a middle man. You a little man. Your money getting shorter. Rich also flexed how much money he was making and how Uzi was missing out by not signing with him. Uzi clapped back with the song Rich Forever and told Rich the Kid he wasn't the one to mess with. He also made fun of Rich's hairline with the bar. These old, yeah, their hairlines receiving. Uzi would also go on to this Rich Ooh. with a few more songs. So it was a up between the two. And Uzi and Rich were both scheduled to perform at the Roots Picnic in Philly. Uzi ended up spotting Rich on the street and hopped out of his car to press him. Oh, what are we doing? Hey. No, it's not. I'm, 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 I'm,
The video cuts off, but then another taken right after showed Uzi popping off at Rich inside a Starbucks. Mm -hmm. And not long after that, someone released a video of Rich running down the street trying to get away from Lil Uzi. Okay. okay. Even though he got caught on camera running, Rich posted a video later and said, Pulled up and did what? Did what? Walk around Philly like this. Walk around Philly like this. Pulled up and did what? A week after all that went down, Rich posted on his IG story. All fun and games to somebody. Then it's tragic. And after the Philly incident, the beef pretty much died. Subscribe okay. quickly if you're enjoying the video. But let's move on to when little baby had to press a rapper about his money. Because YK Osiris randomly became famous for owing other rappers money. And back in November 2021, he what? Became famous for owing other rappers money. This randomly became famous for owing other rappers money. And back in November 2021, Osiris ran into Lil Baby at the jewelry store. And Baby pressed him over the five racks he owed him. At first, Osiris tried to laugh it off. Yeah, he said he I'm gonna say to he's trying to like. <laughs> he can tell that <laughs> he's not joking, but he's trying to make it as like ha ha ha, kiki ki, ki, and little baby's like no. I ain't joking, okay? Where's my money? <laughs> At first, Osiris tried to laugh it off and said he couldn't wait to pay him back. But then Baby got more serious about it and asked him how long he owed him. It's unclear what he owed Baby for, but that's not the only rapper he had debts with. A okay. month after the video with Baby came out, Drake made Osiris perform his track, worth it to clear off the 60 racks he owed him. I'm not Baby, I'm not Boosie, you don't owe me no two racks, five racks, you owe me 60 bags, I'm playing the song right now, you ready? I need you, I need a phone. No huh? You don't owe me no money right now, I swear I need a full performance though. The real <laughs> though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. <laughs> And it seems like all the money issues have left him without any friends in the rap game. Okay. Because back in October, he went live on IG and revealed that he doesn't rock with Drake, Lil Baby, or anyone else in the industry anymore. Y'all keep using that Drake, huh? Drake the fucking be either. Me and Drake don't talk. Me, me and Lil Baby don't talk. Nobody is to Osiris. Fans were worried about him because Osiris was breaking down into tears since he felt like everyone was fake to him. Money, 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 money. Hopefully, Osiris can get back to a happier place in life and find some real friends in the industry. Though Dirk also had to press someone back in 2014 because Dirk and Tyga had been beefing. And Tyga featured the game on his track to Dirk called Yeah, Tyra I found out the other day. The game day. was talking disrespectful on the track because he said, Tyga hit me like Dirk dissing. Dirk no whiskey. Dirk goo. Never heard of these. Then, not long after the track dropped, a video came out showing Dirk pressing the game at a club in LA. Both of their crews were yelling yeah, I saw at this each other. One the other day. Dirk and his people were really ready for the smoke. And a day after that went down, the game hopped on Twitter, letting everyone know the beef was squashed. And Dirk stamped the message. But later, the game went on an interview and made it seem like he tracked Dirk down and ignored him after he saw how small he was. We found him. We went to him. And uh, and I saw Dirk, and he was a little guy, man. And he was he, he was cool, man. So it just it just went away, man. After the interview, Dirk hopped on Twitter and tweeted, "He found me, LOL, with her, and I'm glad I'm not a Twitter gangster." It looked like the beef was going to spark up even more this time. But after that, neither one of them sent more shots at each other. Mm -hmm. Dirk also spoke about what happened in an interview with DJ Vlad, but he kept it short. The crime scene was more like that's our first time seeing each other. That asshole was tension. You know what I'm saying? He had his people had attention, we had attention, so we just brought it to the middle of the club, called it a big thing. But at the end of the day, it was street politics. 
Gucci Mane also had to check one of his artists since he was talking crazy and disrespecting him. Because in 2019, Gucci ended up signing Atlanta rapper Ola Run since he liked his style and the way he sounded. Gucci even ended up hopping on a few songs with Ola since Gucci was trying to help Ola make it into the rap game. And one day, Ola and Gucci were on an IG live together. And Gucci was letting Ola know he might finish another song they were working on later that night when he had time. But Ola started talking crazy and trying to press Gucci since Gucci said he might finish it that night. I might do that feel like you are tonight. And don't keep saying Mike, man. I need you to do that, man. I'm crazy time me. Now you doing that book like we act like we can't listen. But now it's, it's listen. some music, but you ready to do the music. The f thing that you talking about. You tried me early, you told me what you told me. Nah, man, we don't lie. We don't lie. I really feel trying. Nah, we ain't gonna do all that on live. <laughs> And Gucci later dropped Ola since Ola didn't like to listen and was very disrespectful. And since getting dropped, his career hasn't had much of a buzz. But if you thought that was crazy, uh -uh. check this video to see Times rappers outsmarted the police. Damn, there's all these videos on this channel. Everyone keeps recommending them. So thanks for the recommendations and suggestions. Yeah. This is a lot of stuff going on that I just don't know about, okay? Until I watch these videos, which I'm very here for. So thank you for suggesting them. The um, YK guy, I know, I don't know him, but I know him. And yeah, the way he was laughing when Baby was like being serious, it's like, no, Baby was being dead serious, okay? Even the Drake thing, like, e yeah yeah let me know in the comments what you think about this video let me know any other video you'd like me to react to follow me on instagram send me a message leave it in the comments like i said i've just gotta go through the comments so just be patient but thank you so much but anyways guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video very very soon bye